Davis can't hit. Pass to Jordan. Here's Pippen. He shoots a three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Team. Well, it's a make or miss lead. Sometimes the Jays just don't fall. It wasn't a bad shot. Here's Pippen. Knocks it down from distance. Basketball. Here's Pippen. And then he jams it down right on top of Koyan Bogdanovich. And I like what the defense is thinking here, but Pippen gets physical inside and insists. He gets lucky there. Pass to Pippen. What a move. Pippen showing off some terrific ball handling. Don't you wish you could leap like Pippen? I mean, I do. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. He lobs up the alley-oop pass, throws down the alley-oop slam. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many of those. A lack of concentration, a turnover, and an easy bucket in transition. From deep, Jordan fires in the triple. Jordan's got five points. And keeping everyone involved early. Now, that typically on the arc. It's rebounded by Grant. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Woo! <laughs> I just love that alley-oop slam, PA. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Stevens tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Here's Pippen, driving inside. <laughs> Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. No luck on that one. Now Chicago takes it the other way. And he's going for the lob! Throw it! Yes. Rebounded by Pippen. And for the Grizzlies, they've got Dylan Brooks. Also Tyus Jones out there. And it's Tillman in at the center position. B.A. With that attack. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. And the slam dunk by Pippen. Well, I tell you, Pippen's length helps him close to the rim. A rebound by Cartwright. Cartwright's got six rebounds here tonight. Jordan passes to Pippen, and it's Pippen with the jam. And the shots just keep on falling for Pippen. And seeing him find his rhythm is sure. Rogier again missing. So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Simply put, out of control. This is how they played thus far. They're going to have to reel it in and show some more discipline. Assisted Take from three-point range. Enzo Jordan will bring it up for Chicago. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. You know, they came out of the locker room, revved up the gas pedal, and there's clamps thus far. And they've sort of assumed control of this game with their pressure defensively. They've been into the ball handler. They've done a great job of swarming. So they're creating some turnovers. For their they get it again. No good from Valanchunas. Valanchunas has gone 2 of 7 from the floor here. Jordan passes to Pippen, takes the alley oop pass, and dunks it down. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a score like Jordan on the floor here. Trey. Rebounded by Rodman. Rodman's got 11 rebounds in the game. Kukoc pass to Pippen. Hammers the alley-oop through. Yeah, and what you love about Kukoc is the versatility on offense and the terrific court vision. We've got a minute 48 left to play in the first. Got a piece of it. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Taking flight, Scotty Pippen going upstairs. From Dennis Rodman. LMB, Julius Randle comes in for Tatum. Zach Levine's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's Mike Conley in for Kyrie Irving. And yes, it's good. Nice. Rodman passes to Pippen. Over Conley. And the Bulls tack on two more. This is a shot. Here's Pippen. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. 
Uh, that's a perfect reverse, using the backboard as his friend, drew the defender in, and just slipped it to the other Bulls side. now. Here's Pippen, bearing his second of three attempts. And just totally without anything. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, guys, the continuity for the Bucks is a strength. Chris Middleton said, quote, we've been through every type of situation, so you know what to expect. There's no need to worry about failing because you know what you need to do. Brian, some call it corporate knowledge. Well, a key aspect Davis flies. Wow. Here's Pippen. Drills it from deep. Inside, off the mark. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Pulls up, high post. And that one off the back of the rim and in. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Stolen by Pippen. You love that defensive effort right there showing up. Outside Jordan. Let's the three fly. A three-pointer is right on target. Jordan's got five. Yeah, nice timing there on that catch and shoot. Jordan was such a... Always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Now Jordan. After Jordan Clarkson missing on that last three-pointer. And it's Pippen shutting it down. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a score like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Recognize the lack of D in that medium range area. And he's going for the lob. Alley oop up top, hammer at home. Everyone loves the alley oop play, BA. Yep, one of them's here. Utah leading. Picked it out of midair. Neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time. Yeah, these guys are leaving it all on the floor tonight. Oh, that's impactful defense right there. Finding a steal and instantly... A chance to go two for one. And you really must play this just right. Pass to Alexander Walker. And they're pushing it up. And that was a case of great anticipation skills on defense, sparking the transition game. Most teams now are looking to play with pace. No better way to ignite the break than off a turnover.